Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. In this video, I'll review the brand new 2019 Lego City set, the Fire Truck, set 60231. I think that this is the perfect fire truck for a small Lego city and I was really excited when I saw this. There were several fire themed city sets released this year as well as previously but I was never really happy with the fire engine. For one, if you get the full size fire engine, it is huge and often out of scale so you've got such a huge engine but it can only take two minifigs. Then there were some really small ones which didn't look realistic and then there were some recently with the water cannon features which is pretty fun if you like to squirt water in your Lego builds but they weren't entirely realistic. Now I will admit I'm not an expert on fire engines so maybe some of those fire engines were really realistic but at least from my limited knowledge of what I've seen I didn't feel they would fit into my Lego city either because they weren't realistic enough or they were too large and out of scale. So I was really happy when I saw this particular set especially because I wanted to build a fire station mock which is the next mock that I'll be embarking on. But the reason I didn't start on it earlier was because I couldn't find a suitable fire engine. I did not want to build a huge fire station because I didn't want to spend so much time, so much bricks and I didn't have the space for it. I wanted a smaller fire station but it definitely needed to have some kind of fire engine and none of those fit until I saw this one. So now that I've got it, I can actually start on my fire station mock. But first, let's review the set that you see in front of you. It comes with two minifigs. This is more or less a standard fireman print for the torso and the pants. And we also have this lady over here. I'm not sure who she's supposed to be, but I believe this is part of a TV series or game series as she's got a name. She's Freya McCloud. So if you know anything about the series or this character, please let me know in the comments below. She's got a nice torso print nice green spectacles and she's got this coffee mug as well which looks like a marshmallow on fire not sure if you can see that if you can zoom that in i know it's pretty hard to see but trust me it's either a marshmallow on fire or a white ghost rider it's a marshmallow now let's get to the other builds this is really nice okay here's the thing that's on fire which is pretty cool the way they did this two flames and you've got this rounded towel piece and you can put this anywhere and there's a bit of a dynamic motion uh, because it moves around it looks like fire dancing so if you've got a whole bunch of this you can have many things on fire so that's a nice little build i really like this electrical box as much as i like the fire truck itself this works of course because of that printed sticker inside but this build is highly realistic and I think that I need to build more of these for my Lego city. Even though I don't have the sticker, I can build them so it's closed and I can just have one where a repairman is uh, repairing it or maybe a spy is trying to sabotage something. But I really like this build. It's simple but highly realistic and I always appreciate city builds which are in scale and very realistic. So that's a winner for me. Now the fire truck itself. This scale is perfect as I mentioned for a small Lego city. So here's a standard base plate, 32 by 32 studs. So imagine if you wanted to build a fire house or fire station. You would really have to have several base plates like a big base plate or I've seen a lot of people build fire stations on a 48 by 48 stud base plate in order to accommodate the fire engine. Now you could possibly build a fire station that would fit on a 32 by 32 stud base plate and you can fit this vehicle inside because it is roughly about, I would say, 20 studs. So that's pretty good and it's just the right size. The mock that I'm going to work will probably be on a 32 by 32 stud base plate. I believe that this vehicle might fit into the expert modeler building the fire brigade so if you want to upgrade that particular vehicle because that vehicle is very old school you could get this and this will fit inside and of course this will also fit into the ghostbusters fire station uh, and of course because it can take the echo one so it definitely can take this vehicle so that's the sizing so that's the first positive the other thing I like about it, it is pretty realistic. Now, it's obviously not a fire engine as you'd expect a full engine to be, but it does look like a credible first responder vehicle. 
at least where I'm from, we do have vehicles like that where the civil defense or the fire force or emergency services will come up in trucks like this. Uh, and they're there because they're first responders, they may be in satellite fire stations, and they're there first on the scene just to see whatever assistance they can give. And then the real fire engines will come, especially if it's a big fire. So that's why I like it. It's realistic. I can use it. And if you look all around, it's got the main things you expect from a fire engine. Of course, we've got the ladder. This ladder, unfortunately, does not move. It's just removable. But I think I could build something to create a hinge and a rotating platform if I wanted just to give it a bit more functionality. So that can come off and you take this off in order to take off the roof as well. Now, like many of the city vehicles there are no doors you have to take off the roof in order to seat uh, the minifigs and you can put two inside so that's nice you get stickers and printed towels i believe let's see this is a printed towel this is a sticker everything very realistic and you get all these containers or storage bins which is really very realistic as well so you can put all kinds of things and i believe those are refills for the I guess the fire canister over here. So you get four of these cabinet pieces which are built in. So that's great. And you also get this. Now I'm not sure how realistic this is. Uh, I think you have to take it with a pinch of salt. I've never seen anything like this. But this entire thing can be removed and it's supposed to be a, some kind of a fire hose. So it's not a winch or a crane. The black thread you see here is supposed to be the fire hose. And this is attached to a stud shooter, so this can actually shoot out, which is supposed to be water. And I believe this is supposed to be a water tank over here. Again, I'm not an expert in fire engines. I'm not sure if this is realistic. Uh, I don't think it is, but please correct me if I'm wrong or if you're familiar with any kind of uh, firefighting system, which is like that, which you actually can mount into a truck and slide it off as one unit. And almost two people can carry it like a stretcher and then you can fight the fire with it. Even if it's not, it's pretty cool. And I guess if you do not want to put this and you wanted a stretcher, maybe you could build it into this. It's a bit tight. It's a bit of a tight space, but it could be possible. Maybe you would have to change out these boxes over here. Now, there's only one minor complaint I have, and it's with these exposed studs here. But no idea why they exposed the studs. Not sure what the functional reason is. This is, this I could still accept, I guess, because it's red, but for here, I'm not sure why. So I would just take two one by two towels and I'll just cover that like that. In fact, I think I'll take one by four towels and cover this as well. Or I would put maybe grill pieces so it looks like a place that people could step up or water can drain out, but I'll finish it in some way. I don't like the exposed studs like that. And you can see once I've added these one by two towels, I think it just looks a bit more finished that way. Don't you think so? Or if you think there's a particular reason why they left it uh, unfinished, let me know in the comments as well. Well, that's my review of the 2019 LEGO City Fire Truck. I highly recommend this if you have a small LEGO City but want some kind of firefighting presence or emergency services, this set is perfect for the size. If you have a large city with a full firehouse with fire engines, this will also act as a great auxiliary vehicle. Either way, I think this is perfect for a custom LEGO city. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when I start building my fire station mock. Thanks for watching. Check out these two videos before you go.